So growing up, I was always under the impression that Gordon Ramsay was some sort of really mean guy. And this was all because the only thing I really knew about Gordon Ramsay was when I would see him on TV commercials on Fox, where he was savagely roasting contestants on Hell's Kitchen. What time is it? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> cry time? No, it's time for your favorite cooking competition. Overcooked! Crying is included. Hang your heads in shame! <laughs> Hell's Kitchen, all new season Monday, July 18th on Fox. I mean seriously, those ads would have had you thinking that Gordon was some sort of culinary devil. But fast forward to a couple years back, I watch a bunch of seasons of Hell's Kitchen. I watch a bunch of seasons of Kitchen Nightmares. I even watched the shows where he was transforming hotels. And during that time, I quickly realized that Gordon Ramsay is not only a very nice person, but also very generous and just in general, kind of a badass. He's funny, he's innovative, and he works harder than almost anyone in the entertainment industry. And y'all know how it goes when someone is liked by the majority of people. There's always that vocal minority in the background trying to bring someone down who has not done anything wrong and that's exactly what happened to Gordon on today's video where he posted a TikTok joking about lambs and of course the vegans and the pitas of this world absolutely lost their minds yummy yum 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 which one's going in the oven first? You. Mmm. <laughs> oven time. So obviously this is kind of like a meme style video that you would see from Gordon on TikTok. The man knows how to absolutely dominate that platform. And obviously a lot of people got mad about this. They said he was insensitive, they said he was cruel, they said that he's teaching kids bad moral values. I mean seriously, after all the savage things that Gordon Ramsay has said and done in his career, and people actually thought that this was gonna be the video that ends him, I don't know, I just find it hilarious. I guess some people just finally got let in on the big secret that this is where their meat comes from. Gordon has probably cooked up hundreds of thousands of different animals within his career. And so for him, this is really just another day. It's like some people don't understand that we have been killing and eating animals since the dawn of humanity. I mean, do you get outraged when you go to the grocery store and see all the different cuts of meat? I think for a while, they were putting like actual pictures of the animals that had been slaughtered in the making of these different processed meats. And I think it only made people want to buy it more. They're like, oh, I got a good heifer on this one. She looks grass fed. And this is just an example of the type of person who was outraged at this type of TikTok joke. In this viral TikTok video, Gordon Ramsay is mocking tiny little baby lambs who are about to die. These lambs are just babies. They have their entire lives ahead of them. But those lives are going to be or have been cut short so that their bodies can be dismembered and shoved into an oven. And Gordon Ramsay mockingly says oven time but he's <laughs> skipping a very important step before these animals get shoved into an oven. Before any animal ends up in an oven, they go to a slaughterhouse where they have their lives brutally stolen from them. Well, yeah, I actually don't think that Gordon can be showing that on his TikTok. You know, they're real strict about those community guidelines over in China. They can smell the blood the moment they walk through the doors and they are terrified. Oftentimes they watch their brothers and sisters die knowing that they're next. Gordon Ramsay should be ashamed of himself. Harming animals is never okay. <laughs> and the thing I really love is that she speaks like she's narrating a horror story. All she needs now is the flashlight under her face like this to really get the full effect. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. If you're vegan and you want to spread your vegan beliefs, you want to try to change people's minds, hey, more power to you. You know, I don't fault anyone for being passionate about something they truly believe in. But to act like other people are wrong or other people can't make jokes because it makes you uncomfortable, that's just something that I have a really hard time getting behind. And I gotta be honest, I would think that most chefs could kind of give a fuck less about what vegans think at this point. For them, it would kind of be like fighting an uphill battle because obviously those types of people are going to be predisposed to not really like you in the first place. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about this down below. I had another video ready to go today, but YouTube is just not liking that upload for whatever reason. I got like 300 videos in a row monetized and they're still like checking on all my stuff but either way i want to thank you guys for watching today's video and dropping a like making sure you subscribe but as you guys know it's been your boy the tan superman and some of the tiktoks out here need to get covered so i'm out peace